When you come to Atlanta, of course you think of that 1939 classic Hollywood film, Gone with the Wind. You come to Atlanta, you want to see oh, oh, Tara. Oh, no, there is no Tara. No Tara. Wasn't even shot here. In Hollywood. But what you do want to see when you come here is... The Margaret Mitchell House, where she wrote the book. Yeah. Woody, from her apartment furnished like this, Margaret Mitchell worked for years on a novel that would make publishing and film history. This is the corner where she wrote the majority of Gone with the Wind. And also her main character's name was not Scarlet. It was Pansy. Pansy. <laughs> Pansy. That didn't change until 1935, right before publication. Can you tell us this? How did Margaret Mitchell feel about the adaptation, the screen adaptation of her book? Oh, she was very disappointed in the really? actual the portrayal of Tara. And she just, she really felt that... When um, she saw the Tara had columns. Columns, absolutely. That kind of structure didn't really exist in this area of Atlanta. I mean, you are dealing with a book that has been written when Confederate veterans are still alive. Was the yeah. stage musical approved by the, by the estate? No, it what, it what? Do you know that? You know, I don't know that, but I knew that there's a Gone with the Wind I, was I turned into know. a stage musical. Mm -hmm. When was this? This was... I think it was done for the first time in the 70s. Can I, you imagine the Burn Atlanta scene? Well, that was, yeah, how do you burn Atlanta on stage? Now, what's the song you sing while you do that? Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm burning up, burning up with your love. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs> Do you have one, Woody? Of um. <laughs> no, no. Tomorrow is another no, day. Actually, that is my favorite one. Is it really? Yeah. I, I was watching the scene again last night. So. Man, she was a procrastinator. Well, yeah, tomorrow is another day. I can't live without him. Yeah, I'll think about it. <laughs>